This is the big board. Andrew Berkeley, market strategist with Brown Brothers Harriman. Andrew, still, still energy. Still energy. Uh, you know, we see a lot of uh, basically positive earnings revision momentum in the sector, and, and really what that is is that you know the energy call is not predicated on oil staying at 130, 140 dollars. It's based on that the analysts are pricing in much, much lower uh, prices into their models, $70, $80 a barrel. So quarter after quarter, we're just getting these upward revisions. And in a market where you're getting pretty sluggish earnings growth, investors are really flocking to that uh, earnings growth. Bill, do you agree? Uh, no, I don't. You know, I, I think um, one of the problems today is that you've had so much momentum in the energy complex and everybody loves it that uh, when you see parabolic prices and this kind of activity, I think there's a tremendous amount of risk, especially for people entering here. You know, it reminds me a lot of 1999 with um, Harry Dent's book, The Roaring 2000s, and then you had Dow 40,000, Dow 100,000, all in one month. That was the ultimate sell. And here you've had in the last number of weeks, how many people raising their targets to 150, 200? Maybe it's getting late in the game here, and caution is the order of the day. All right, so what do I buy? Uh, well, if you want to go outside of energy, another area we like is the food products names, uh, Kellogg's, General Mills, Heinz, these kind of companies. Uh, we're actually seeing a lot of good pricing power in those areas. And, you know, kind of a thematic idea, if, if people are starting to move away from high-end dining going out to eat, maybe they go to a little, uh, you know, more fast food or even cooking and staying at home and eating. At, at what point, though, do people stop buying? I understand they got pricing power, but also Super Value, fill in the blank, Supermarket has their own name brand, too. So people would say, if they're really worried about prices, I'm not going to buy Kellogg's or Heinz or all those brands. I'm going to go. Yeah, the, to what they call the, the, the private label brands. Right. And, and basically, what we're seeing in there is that the private labels are very slow to raise their prices, and they're actually raising their prices much, much quicker. So that kind of comparison between the higher end labels and who the makes private them? labels. Who, how can I buy a private label? Uh, I don't know the information on that. Sorry. I'm just curious. I mean, yeah, I'm thinking about it, Heinz. I'm thinking they can, they can raise prices on a percentage basis a whole lot more than a Heinz. It's a real good question. Uh, on a product by product basis, sometimes you have a big name right. making a private label right. as well. Right. Exactly. Uh, right. Bill, uh, what about you? Uh, where, where is my money going to be treated best here? Well, you know, I, I think one thing that investors have to focus on, rather than picking single issues or single um, uh, stock picks, you know, tough times, people during my 30 years have made fortunes. If you use brain power, you had testosterone, and you, you look before you uh, spent your money. Strategies are what count. You need to have multi-strategy campaigns. Having a portfolio stuffed with energy stocks is not the right answer. And when you look at the uh, currency market, I haven't met an investor yet that has a, 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 any allocation to the uh, biggest market on the planet. You look at which um, is what the currency market. The currency oh, oh market. I see what you mean. I'm sorry. I thought you were referring to a. Uh, a continent, uh, the currency no. market. The yeah, currency and that's market, well as, uh, that's easy. That's getting return. easier to do too. You get some ETFs, some ETNs, and you've got outfits like EverBank where you can buy uh, CDs and different uh, currencies. Well, and for the folks that don't want to do it themselves, and actually they shouldn't, most in most cases, um, there are strategies available that you can purchase, and it looks like a mutual fund, acts like a mutual fund. They have great performance. Yeah. Um, whether you, there's that's the thing that people should be focusing on. Um, in lieu of energy, I would look at uh, ETFs. The, How about the Nuclear Energy Trust is a. Uh, Before we go, we're almost out of time, Bill. Uh, do you have a favorite currency? Buffett was very high on the Brazilian real. Uh, do you have a favorite one? Right now, I think long dollar short euro looks uh, very appetizing, and that's uh, against the grain, I know, but it's just a, uh, a thought right now. All right. Thank you very much. Bill Spiropoulos and Andrew Berkeley. All right, we were just talking here, as Sharon had been reporting on the industry sources in China that are saying that they're going to.